Hey guys, what's going on? AJ here again with another video. Uh, as you can remember from the last video I had, we removed the uh, this right here, the uh, rear axle. So, so what we're gonna do now is just basically we're gonna put it back, and uh, yeah, so it should be pretty simple. Uh, what you're gonna do is basically go in uh, reverse order. So um, I'm gonna show you guys that. So let's get started. All right, guys. So first thing you want to do is what you're gonna do is slide the rear axle back in. So let's do that. Might be a little tight. So before you go all the way in, you want to put your uh, the brakes uh, carrier, the, this piece right here, and and also your rear sprocket. If you don't have a split one, um, then yeah, you would put it in there so that you don't have to pull it back out and you know have to redo this again. So. Yeah, before you push through. Also, don't forget about these things. Um, whenever you put stuff back in together, obviously. Oh, there you go. I dropped it. So, yeah. Once you have most of the uh, parts attached to the to the rear axle, like I mentioned earlier, now you can just uh, ensure that you pull or push on the other side this rear axle, so you'll have it. Um, you know, you can have it all the way up here. So let's do that. So what I did was I hammered it on the other side to get it at least close to here and now I can just pull it through. So the next step after you've, you've uh, pushed this all the way across is to, uh, to remember what I've uh, shown you guys with uh, the markers. Uh, sometimes if you do clean your uh, axle it gets erased obviously even with the permanent marker so what you'll do is uh, I'll show you guys so you got to measure the rear axle from this end and you have to compare that with the uh, the one on the other side so you want to ensure it's even on both sides so let's go ahead and measure it so the way you measure this is from this at the very uh, top here I don't know if you guys can see that. And then all the way up here, so. So, so eight, in eight, eight inches and one fourth. And then here. So we actually had too much on the other side. So we're gonna pull this. Let's remeasure it. About eight. Maybe slightly, just a little bit. So you're gonna keep doing this until you have the same measurement on both sides. So uh, I'm gonna go fiddle with it, and I'll... all right. Once we have everything all measured out, and it's even on both sides then like I mentioned 
we're ready to uh, put the set screw in to uh, tighten the uh, rear axle. So let's do that. Oh. So with these, like I mentioned uh, on the other video, be careful. You can drop this and lose them like that. Ah. <clears throat> so once you tighten all the set screw to the rear sprocket, I mean the rear axle, then basically you just start putting together the brakes and the last piece will be the wheel hubs. So let's put the brakes on. Remember we put the zip tie here so we can hang this. It's just not flopping around. It's time to cut it. So don't tie the wheel, the, the, the carrier for the, the brakes because um, when you put this back on you'll be moving this around uh, so that you can put this flush to, the, to this piece. Let's tie in this part. All right, so that's, that's in there. It's pretty tight. So the last step is putting the, the wheel hubs and you're all set. Your uh, rear axle is put back. Forget about these.
So uh, once you put a once you put all the, the two wheel hubs, you just gotta tighten it, and that's it. All right, guys. So there you have it. You put back the rear axle. As you can see, everything is how it should be. So all that all that is left now is to put a motor in. But this is how you put in the rear axle. So that's that for the video. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope to uh, see you guys soon.